What is good? It is your boy Flex and put your muscles up. So I'm back with another video. So in today's video, man, we're gonna be reacting to uh why did I throw a cactus before I go in the ocean? Title's a little interesting, man, but uh it's hood nature, so we're gonna find out some interesting facts about what lives in our ocean. If you guys know me and watch any of my other videos about waters, period, you know I'm not a water guy. So let's get into it, man. Let's cut all the chit chat. Watch the video, let's go. This is probably the most terrifying thing you'll ever see in the ocean. That thing is actually a big fin squid and it's believed to grow up to 26 feet long. Scientists believe they hunt by dragging those freakish arms across the ocean floor, snatching up anything unlucky enough to accidentally brush up against it. But by far the scariest thing about this hell squid, we know almost nothing about it. We don't know how they mate, how they live. All we know for sure is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which is more than half the height of Mount Everest. Here's I don't feel like having no information is the scariest thing about this monstrous looking squid thing. I think the fact that this thing actually exists is probably the scariest thing about this thing. Here's the part that personally freaks me out. Every big fin ever caught was a juvenile, and since no adults have ever been captured, it's possible they can be even bigger than we thought. This sea slender man's arms are covered in tiny suckers, meaning once they grab something, there aren't a lot of things <laughs> strong enough to break free. Those arms can be over 90% of their total body length, and they hold it at a 90 degree angle, which makes this violation against nature look like it's T-posing. As technology improves, we might have a chance to learn more about them. Which isn't a good thing, they need to stay in hell. Well, facts, but they slowly get more and more disturbing. Blue whales can produce 400 gallons of baby batter, but only 10% of it makes it to the female, meaning 360 gallons get dumped back out. In case you're wondering, that's eight and a half bathtubs of whale maker. Gray whales will go three player with two males and a female. While the first male is getting his rocks off, the second wing whale will swim underneath the female and help hold her in place for a process that can last up to an hour. And friendly reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Bro. Sperm whales are so. That's a true friend right there. That's a real homie. <laughs> It's a real relay. Hey. I got you. Go ahead. Yeah, you good, man. I'll be right here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so loud that their sound can vibrate you Egg get by mode. either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble to form in your brain which would instantly take you off the senses. Blue whales are big but not a lot of people understand how big. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from a little more than two miles away. They can swallow almost half a million calories at once. Allegedly a whale's fart bubble can enclose a full grown horse. And because I am heart who I bubble? am I have to tell you that the largest blue whale penis was about 16 feet long and weighed anywhere from 700 to 900 pounds. Blue whales don't spray water out of the blowholes the way you see in movies. It's actually warm air being forced out of the lungs. It's basically its breath. It's one of the most unholy smells that can ever assault your nose. Like burning rubber in a fish cemetery. Because of that video, there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish it were true because of the look on people's faces when I tell them this is free therapy, but it isn't. Most of the ocean's salt comes from rocks on land because when acidic rain hits the rocks, it erodes them and causes them to release salt. The salt gets carried out in streams and rivers where it eventually reaches the ocean. The reason the ocean is so salty is because this has been happening for millions on billions of years. Some of the salt also comes from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but most of the time when you taste seawater, the salt came from a rock, not a whale that already has. So yeah, you don't have to worry about <laughs> salty seawater. Besides, you should probably be more concerned so with the fact good, that you're So that's good, people. If you want to know why the water is salty, it is not because of whale baby bat. It used to be made from whale vomit. Because rocks. The more you know. Fish you should be most afraid of isn't the shark. It's the stonefish because it can deliver venom powerful enough to cause crippling pain and toxic enough to activate your life insurance in less than two hours. This fish is armed with a venom called verucotoxin and as a neurotoxin, it shuts your body down from the inside. If you got stung, you would first feel incapacitating pain, swelling, and eventually numbness. But no worries, it gets worse. It always gets worse. If you don't get medical attention fast enough, the poison would destroy tissues in the body, cause uncontrollable twitching and shaking, and eventually paralysis, meaning it would get harder and harder to breathe until you eventually black out. Victims describe the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over the body, and even if you survive, you could still walk away with permanent nerve damage and muscle atrophy. But there's two big reasons why this Satan guppy might be the most dangerous fish on Earth. One is this picture. Because the stonefish Can looks see like it? a stone. stone, it's so easy to accidentally step on one, and when you do, those spines would get shoved up your foot, and the harder you step, the more poison gets pumped into you. And number two, they can survive outside of water for up to 24 hours, meaning what? they don't have to be underwater to put you underground. Because oh Australia is the only place where mistaking a fish for a stone can get you to death penalty. You should never pick this shell up because wow, it's actually bro. See, that's, this is the stuff that makes me just want to stay home. You know what I mean? Like, it just makes me want to stay home, secluded in my house, definitely not being in no water, you know what I mean? Because you never know. A harmless looking stone 
could be the last time you step foot in the water. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I'm good, bro. Miss things on the planet. That's because the cone snail can shoot you with a harpoon at 400 miles per hour. That would be like getting struck by 14 Usain Bolts because ironically this snail is one of the fastest animals on the planet, being able to hit you almost as fast as you can blink. That's not the only thing fast about them because this murder slug was nicknamed Cigarette Snail because according to urban legend, if you got hit by one you had enough time for a puff puff pass before you puff puff pass away. If you got stung you would immediately feel extreme pain, swelling, numbness and vomiting but don't worry, it gets worse. It would escalate to muscle paralysis, double vision, and difficulty breathing. And once you get to that point, you can go ahead and start printing out shirts because you finna be on one. <laughs> and even though the cigarette thing was an exaggeration, it could take only 5-8 to eight hours for them to connect you to God's Wi-Fi. Now the problem with these snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky prey, and they'll even put them to sleep with a toxin that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine. Which works on fish and stupid people that pick them up. But they don't just use one though, like Tyson, they be on them combos. They can have 50 different toxins in their venom, which is why there is no antidote. The only cure is to try not to die and become a Snapchat member. Your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and you see what I mean? You see what I mean? This is probably another animal that you like only find in like Australia or something, you know what I mean? Like you won't find it, you probably won't find this off the coast of California or, or Washington or wherever, but Still, if I wanted to go to Australia and, and even swim in the water, I'd be so afraid, afraid and my anxiety would be through the roof. I wouldn't be able to enjoy the time. I wouldn't be able to enjoy the time. I'd be afraid that I'd get paralyzed and stung by, a, a, you know what I'm saying, some type of stonefish or, or freaking harpoon shrimp thing. Like, come on, bro. It's too many, it's too I should many probably stuff, explain man. what the hell this is. That was an angel shark, and that's the worst Call of Duty player you'll ever meet. The angel shark will lie motionless for days waiting for anything bite-sized to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its life. Sounds like a cheat code, but there's no referee in the ocean, so this camel shark stab heads kills like no other. Professional but you don't camper. have to worry about them snatching up your leg because they're only interested in fish, crustaceans, and mollusks like squid. That being said, angel sharks are a lot like electrical power sockets. They're only dangerous if you're stupid enough to poke them. Now you would think that's common sense, but because these sharks stay perfectly still, scuba divers think it's a good idea to touch them, and that makes these sharks go from mannequin challenge to homicide. Luckily, attacks are rare, and as long as you're not an idiot, this sea carpet won't fade you. Good thing, too, because there's a shark in this picture, and he may not be an angel, but he'll turn you I into see it. reasons why this is your new favorite fish. Even though they can be up to 23 feet over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% perfectly harmless to people because they only ever eat plankton and small shrimp. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant placemat couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. They're smart enough to understand mirrors because manta rays were seen waving and blowing bubbles at their own reflection, something they wouldn't do if they thought it was another manta ray. Manta rays will launch themselves out of the ocean, and they do it to get rid of parasites or to avoid predators, but sometimes it seems like they do it just for fun. Just for, yeah. They have the largest brain of any fish. They look like they fly, bro. The like, if, I had, if I had wings in the water, and I can propel, propel myself out and just flap for a couple minutes or seconds, whatever, yeah, I'm doing it, bro. I'm doing it. Probably, it's, it's probably Moana... Grandma, just doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? I just let her do her thing. The that don't also belong on a list with Cosby that isn't a TV guide. Baby manta rays are called pups, and the mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink manta rays out there, and no, this is not edited. This pink manta ray was found off the coast of Australia on the Great Barrier Reef, proving that that country is both a national treasure and Satan's jungle gym. Oh, you know they're smart enough like, to form uh, strong Australia emotional bonds with each other, and they're smart enough to ask for help. One repeatedly approached the diver until he realized that she had a fish hook stuck under her eye, and she waited patiently as he removed it. Once he removed it, she swam off. What would happen if you took one of the meanest animals in the ocean and gave it legs? Well, two things. One, you'd have one of the most violently aggressive animals on Earth walking on land, and two, I know this because it technically happened and they exist. It's a known fact that the biggest menace to society in the ocean are dolphins of any kind. They jump sharks for no reason, slap box their babies, and they have a rap sheet longer than Drake's. And the worst dolphin of all actively tortures other animals for sport. Dolphins and whales are part of a group called cetaceans, which basically happened because this guy decided he wanted to test his luck out in the ocean and evolved to become semi-aquatic and then fully aquatic. But funny story, there was a group of these land animals that actually stayed on land and about 54 million years ago they split up with the animals that would become whales and dolphins heading out to sea. The ones that didn't follow them out into the ocean stayed on land and after millions of years of plot development they went on to become one of the most vicious animals in the world. In case I haven't made it obvious, I'm talking about hippos. The African homicide horse is actually the closest living relative of whales and dolphins. One's what? a bipolar tank with Roy Ridge and Devil's Overbite and the other's a puffer fish abusing shark assaulting sea quagmire and that is f***ing evolution. You remember that dolphin sound effect in Spongebob what? that was supposed Yo, to be like Yo, hey, censored? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sometimes this guy be talking too fast and I'll be missing what he be saying, but just the way he says it just sounds funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> whales and dolphins. One's a bipolar tank with Roy Ridge and a devil's overbite, and the other's a pufferfish abusing shark assaulting sea quagmire, and that is f***ing evolution. You remember that dolphin sound effect from Spongebob that was supposed to be like a sensor? You know what the f*** 
I'm talking about. Well, that sound didn't actually come from a dolphin. It was actually the sped up laughter of the kookaburra. It's a kingfisher bird found in Australia that sounds like a guy trying way too hard to laugh at a cute girl's jokes. You may not be able to hear it, but when you double the playback speed, you can hear the sound that cartoons made you swear was a dolphin. That is annoying, bro. What? Moral of this video, every dolphin sound effect you've ever heard on every TV show is really just an Australian crack tweety. Oh, that's lame. Sunrise, you can... I, I want the illusion of every dolphin sound I hear on a cartoon or a movie or TV or whatever. I want it to be actual dolphin. Why are you playing on my emotions, man? See, and this is, these, again, these are the reasons why you won't catch me in nobody's type of water. You know what I'm saying? I'm a land guy. I like to be on the land. Don't put me in no water because I'm not trying to die, bro. I'm really not. Too young, too beautiful, too black to be in somebody's water. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Y'all make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to put a comment down below. Let me know what was the scariest looking animal on this thing, bro. Or even if you would like to get into these types of water. I know there's water people all over the world. So I'm not saying it's not a thing, but it's just not my thing. Make sure you guys subscribe. Turn the notifications on. I post at least three to four times a week, man. All right, y'all. Put your muscles up. Till next time I'm out of here. Peace.